If you've ever shopped on Revolve, then you know how much of a hit and how much of a miss shopping on there can actually be. Sometimes you'll see the most gorgeous piece on the Revolve website, the model looks stunning in it, and then you purchase it, and it's kind of one of those Instagram versus reality moments when you're holding the piece in front of you and it just doesn't give what it was giving online. But then on the flip side, I've also purchased stuff from Revolve that have been huge hits that I've absolutely adored and have actually been better than I expected. Which brings me to today's video. <laughs> Wedding season is in full swing, and that means wedding guest dress season <laughs> is also in full swing. And I have always found it so difficult to find that perfect wedding guest dress, especially online. Now, the one thing about Revolve is they have a huge selection of clothes, especially dresses. And because of all of my experience with Revolve, whenever I see these beautiful dresses, I just wonder to myself, will this actually look good and is it worth the price? And today I took one for the team. The dresses that you see hanging behind me are nine of some of the best selling wedding guest dresses on the Revolve website. And I bought them all and we are gonna be trying them on and I will be letting you know all of my thoughts on them. The dresses that I got also range from $87 all the way up to $700 and $2. Now I myself only have one wedding this season. So I'm allowing myself to keep only one of these dresses. So at the end of the video, I will be letting you guys know which one I like the most, which one I'm actually gonna be keeping. If you wanna see me do a video like this for another brand, by the way, let me know in the comments. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you wanna see more from me. And let's jump right into it. So we are gonna start off with the least expensive and go all the way to the most expensive dress on the list. This is the Angel Midi Strapless Dress in Olive. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is one of like the top five best selling dresses on Revolve and it's been that way for a really long time. I actually bought this once before for a wedding and I did end up returning it because I just didn't love the way that it looked on me. I felt like it just was kind of ill-fitting but I decided to buy it again for this video because I wanted to show you guys what I meant by that. I really do understand why this is one of the best sellers. It comes in several really gorgeous colors. This olive color is absolutely beautiful. It's very, very, very simple. It's literally just a strapless tubed midi dress and it's nice and silky, so it's kind of a classic. This could very, very easily be a dress that you could rewear over and over and over again. You could dress it up, you could dress it down, you could wear it to a wedding, you could wear it to dinner. I like this a lot more than I did the first time that I bought this and I think I know why that is. I actually took the time to steam this dress because it is like a silkier fabric. This creases like crazy. Out of the bag, it was an absolute disaster. It looked like somebody just ran it over with a car. And I spent a full 10 minutes trying to steam it. And even spending those 10 minutes steaming this, I still didn't get all of the creases out. But the first time that I tried this on, I just tried it on straight from the bag and it looked really, 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 really bad because I just didn't even bother steaming it. So steamed, it's definitely a much better look. Even at that though, I'm telling you guys right off the bat, this is a dress that I would most probably still return even today, even though I like the way it looks from afar. From up close, there are some big issues that I have with it. So because it's a strapless dress, it has this little sticky bit all around the top to help it from falling down, which I really appreciate. But the issue that I'm having is that it keeps flipping outwards. No matter how many times I flip it back towards my body, every time I look down, it's flipped back out, which is a huge issue. Also, because it zips up on the side rather than the back, I find that there's some like weird puckering that happens from the zipper on the side of the body. But even if those things don't bother you, I also feel like a dress like this is a little bit tricky to wear, mainly because of the creasing. This goes for really any type of silky dress because the moment you sit down and stand back up, your dress will be creased. The fabric for this one is 52% rayon and 48% viscose. I got this in a size medium and actually every dress that I got here is in a size medium and I do feel like it's pretty true to size. For the quality, I'm gonna give it maybe a four on 10. I don't feel like the quality is really there. Again, it's not the most expensive dress that I have here, but it's also not cheap. I just feel like this dress is missing a little bit of refinement. You know, it's like almost there. It could, it could be so good. Last but not least, would I recommend it? No. You can find midi strapless silky dresses everywhere. Different price ranges, different levels of quality. I would say that this particular dress from Revolve, it's not it for quality. I have been eyeing this dress from Revolve for I think years. Wow. <laughs> I have so many thoughts already. So this little number is from Norma Kamali. It is the tower side drape gown in black. And this one retails for $177. And the fabric on this is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. I have seen this dress in Revolve time and time again. I'm always tempted to pick it up. It just always seemed like such a cute little black dress. The fabric itself is very, very 
very thin. It feels really comfortable and very breathable because it is so thin. But for some reason, whenever I saw this online, I just always imagined it being a much thicker dress. I thought it would be a little bit more substantial in the fabric. I'm not docking points for this though because I actually find that because the fabric is so lightweight, it feels very comfortable. There is also a full-on bodysuit in this thing. I'm gonna just lift this up so you guys can see, okay? It kind of just feels like included shapewear. Some people though might actually really not like that. I kind of wish though that they didn't include this because it is a full coverage bodysuit. And even though it does feel pretty seamless, I personally always like to wear thongs with my dresses because I don't want to see any type of panty line. And I do feel like, you know, in some angles, you might be able to see a little bit of a panty line because it's full coverage, which wouldn't have been my preference. Love the fit of this though. I find it to be very, very, very flattering. It's a little bit asymmetrical. So it goes up a bit on one leg and then it drapes over the other. It has a little bit of ruching on the side over here, which I always find to be very flattering. The neckline is also so pretty and flattering. It has kind of like a sweetheart 1950s-esque neckline. I love this like wide off the shoulder look. When I first put it on, I was a little bit worried that it would feel like the straps were falling off my shoulders, but it actually feels pretty secure. Classic black dress is always a great go-to, especially for a wedding. You really can't go wrong. This isn't necessarily a black tie dress because it doesn't go all the way to the floor, but for semi-formal cocktail, this would be perfect. The price, $177. I, I, listen. Whether or not a price is worth it is so subjective. For me, I feel like $177 for a dress like this would be worth it because the rewearability factor for this is high. I wouldn't say this is the most well-made dress I've ever put on my body, but there's nothing about it that is sticking out to me. Would I recommend it? I would say yes, actually, I would recommend it. And I'm considering keeping this because she's really cute. I'm a bit nervous about the next one, okay? This is a style of dress that I've never really tried before. No. <laughs> I'm really bad at leaving you guys on cliffhangers because I cannot hide how I feel about something. And I put this on and immediately said, absolutely not. This is truly a perfect example of Revolve versus reality because on the model, this dress looked unbelievably stunning. And on me, it's just, it's giving, it's just not actually, it's not giving. <laughs> I also steamed this and it still looks so creased. This is the Elliott Gwyneth Dress and Orchid. It is $244 US, which makes that about like 300 and something dollars Canadian. It's also 100% polyester. I will say right off the bat, this color is stunning. I just feel like the fit of this is really, really poor and kind of lacking. I also, of course, got this in a medium and I do feel like it's a little bit big in some places. Like it could, it could be brought in a little bit on my waist and I don't think I would have been able to size down because it really fits very well everywhere else. There's just a couple areas on the dress where I feel like it could kind of be brought in, like especially on the back, the draping over here, just, I don't know. I just don't feel like it looks very flattering. Kind of looks like I took a bed sheet wrapped it around my body and pinned it. And for 300 and something dollars Canadian, absolutely not. It is 100% polyester. It doesn't feel really ultra high quality. And for 300 and something dollars, okay? I would have expected something a little bit more polished. Would I recommend it? No. I think for the price that you pay for a dress like this, I just don't feel like it reflects on the quality and that's really what is killing me. All right, next up we have, again, one of the very best sellers from Revolve. It's this beautiful navy number. Okay, this is cute. So this dress is the Surreal Dress in Deep Sea from Katie May. It is $250 US and it is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. When I was sorting through all these dresses, I believe this was like one of the top three sellers and I totally understand why because it is quite simple, but it's also effective. It is is a dress that goes all the way down to the floor. I am 5'8", and this is very lightly dragging on the floor. So if you are on the shorter side, I would definitely keep in mind that you would probably have to hem this. Fabric feels really nice and soft and almost has like a cottony feel, even though it is polyester. The dress as a whole, very simple. You have kind of like a light cowl situation going on in the neckline. Very, very thin spaghetti straps that are adjustable, which I really appreciate. But the real showstopper of this dress is the back. The back is 
really what makes this special. You have more of like an open, deeper back. And there's a little bit of a peekaboo lace situation over here, which is really, really cute. And I love that detail. Like I mentioned, when I tried on the black dress, I believe, I always love it when dresses have a little bit of ruching on the side because I just find it is really flattering on the tummy area. This just feels like a really great go-to dress for more of like a fancier wedding for a black tie, formal wedding because it goes straight down to the floor. It's very elegant. It's very chic. It's not too over the top. It's just a beautiful, simple dress, especially for a bridesmaid. If you're looking for like a navy bridesmaid's dress, this would be also like such a beautiful option. I do believe it also comes in a black as well, although I really do like the blue. The way that the dress feels and the quality, it feels nice. There's nothing about it that is offending me at all. Fabric does feel really nice and stretchy and soft, so it feels like very comfortable to wear. It's not a super thick, heavy dress that you would like overheat in or that you would feel uncomfortable in. Like the com comfort level, this is practically a 10 on 10. And overall, would I recommend this? I 100% would. Overall, I would give this dress probably like 7.75 on 10 even an eight on 10. So excited to try this next one because it is so outside of my normal style. I typically would never really buy anything like this, but it seemed to be very popular. Look at her. Okay, let's put her on. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm pretty devastated because this is the first dress that um, <clears throat> does not fit. I also got this in a medium and I will say it is made very, very small. I might be able to get this done up, but I would need some manpower and I, it's just me in here. So I will say right off the bat, if you're interested in this dress, maybe size up, not true to size. I'm actually surprised with how much I'm feeling this though, despite it not fitting me. I'm wishing that it did because I think I, I maybe would have even kept it. So this is the Chasing Dawn gown in Pink Daisy, also from Katie May, the same designer as the blue dress. This one's a lot more expensive. It is $335 USD, which means it's around $400 Canadian. It is also 100% polyester. This dress would be so perfect for like a tropical or a destination wedding or a cocktail dress if you wanna go with something shorter. And this is definitely a shorter dress. Like the bottom of my butt is right here. So there's only like, I don't know, a couple inches between the bottom of my butt and the bottom of this dress. And I didn't think I would like this part of the dress, but this little piece or big piece, I should say, a fabric that hangs from the waist, I find kind of, I don't know, it, it, it makes it, doesn't make it feel as short as it actually is, if that makes any sense. I also really love like the top part of this dress. It, it kind of feels like a corset. If I was able to do it up, it would feel probably very like, and also to note, there is boning in here as well. So despite me not being able to do up this dress, I actually really love it. This might just be my favorite dress I've tried on yet, maybe because it's so out of my comfort zone and so different than anything I ever really typically wear. That's why it's exciting me so much. Quality also feels great. It feels well-made comfort-wise. Um, I can actually see this being slightly uncomfortable. This is definitely a much tighter, more restrictive dress. It doesn't have a lot of give to it. This might be one of those dresses that by the end of the night, you are just itching to rip off of your body. It would have been actually really cool if this piece was detachable because if it was, that would have increased the versatility of this dress. Or maybe you can tailor it to get it to be detachable if you really wanted to do that. Would I recommend it? I mean, quality wise, I think it feels great. I would keep the comfort thing in mind though. As far as whether or not I would recommend it, I would say overall, yes. I would just keep all of my little critiques and notes in mind. Next dress is this lovely green number. So this is the Hattie gown in green from Lovers and Friends. It is $351, 100% polyester. I often have this problem with Lovers and Friends in particular. I always feel a little bit disappointed in the quality of the pieces. And it's not even to say like overall that the quality of this dress isn't great. There's just small things that really bother me for a dress that is like $400 Canadian. For example, in the bus over here, I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but there's a lot of loose threads. Just looking at like the little details of these pleats, I don't know if I'm being overly picky. I just feel like the finishing isn't the best quality for a dress that's like $400 Canadian. I wouldn't really say that this is necessarily a dress that I would personally wear um, to a wedding. I just feel like it's not really my style. I thought I would absolutely love it, but on, I just feel a little bit outside of my comfort zone in it, but it almost makes me feel like I'm wearing a costume. 
Um, maybe because it's so outside of my, my comfort zone, but I don't know. It's just all of these pleats just don't really do it for me. It just feels very like whimsical and that's just not typically my style. I really, really like the way it fits though. It is strapless and it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Um, it has these really nice molded cups, which fits really nicely. But if you have a larger chest, this definitely would, would not work. Um, because like this just fits me and I don't really have a very large chest to begin with. I feel like for a tropical destination wedding, this would be really cute. It does go straight to the floor. So this could be more of a formal dress, but I think the color, because it is so bright and green and fun, um, I wouldn't necessarily wear this to a black tie wedding. I mean, it is really cute when you kind of do these little spins because the, <laughs> the tears of the dress spin with you. I actually wouldn't recommend it. I think for the price that you're paying and what you're getting, it just doesn't really match up for me. 400 and something dollars Canadian is a lot of money for a dress and I just would have wanted a little bit more from this. We have three pieces left and the next one is actually not even a dress, it is a jumpsuit. I did wanna give one formal jumpsuit option because not everybody wants to wear a dress and I have always been so curious about this brand. Stop it right now. <laughs> this is the modernist jumpsuit in Dusty Rose from Lee Day. I have been so close to buying a Lee Day piece, but I've always held back because they're, they are quite expensive and the reviews are always a little bit iffy. Let me just give you a quick little tour, okay? So this is a full length jumpsuit. It goes straight to the floor. The back is absolutely gorgeous. It's pretty much completely backless. You can also tie this in however which way you want to. So I pretty much did this like little crossover thing and then I cross it over back towards the front and then back towards the back and I feel like that is a really cute way to tie this but you can really do whatever you want you can also just tie very simply right at the top so all of the Lee Day pieces have this really pretty metallic sheen and these really gorgeous pleats and I find that the color of this the metallic sheen has some really strong impact to it like it looks striking in a really beautiful way it also looks very expensive um, it has this very like luxe look to it. There's one thing though that is really bothering me about this and it is the crotch region. It is pulling in a very particular way where it's accentuating my crotch in just like a way in which it shouldn't. <laughs> and it's not even that it's giving me camel toe because it's not riding up anywhere it shouldn't be riding up. It's just pulling in a bit of a weird way. Like there's something weird about it. Maybe I'm going crazy, let me know. Besides that situation, I love this so much. I would wear this to a wedding in a heartbeat. I think it's so sexy and so cool to wear a jumpsuit to a wedding. I might just lie to myself and tell myself that this crotch thing isn't a thing because I love it so much. I do not want to return it. Did I mention it was $466 USD? Yeah, it, it's a pricey jumpsuit. It is also 100% polyester. So quality wise, considering the price, I would probably say it's like an eight on 10. Comfort wise, this is very comfortable. This is like a 10 on 10 for me, especially because it is a jumpsuit, meaning I have pants on right now. That just brings the comfort level up, up a notch automatically. This is also a very rewearable piece. Like I could see myself wearing this to a wedding, to a regular type of party, to dinner. As far as the type of wedding that I would wear a jumpsuit to, I feel like this would suit a cocktail dress code, semi-formal, maybe even formal. Unfortunately, yes, I would recommend it. It is a pricey piece for sure, but I actually find it's quite unique. I haven't really found anything quite like this. I think maybe if you're on the taller side like me, you might jump into the crotch issue. I think that's what the issue is. Maybe my torso is a little bit longer than, than um, it's supposed to be for this piece, I don't know. Thankfully with Revolve, they have an amazing return policy. So if you are interested in the piece, you can buy it, try it. If it doesn't work, you can easily return it. But this is like such a hard guess for me. I wanna keep this so badly. Should I? I don't know. I don't know. We have this beauty over here. She is long and she is purple. This is called the Joni Maxi Dress and Periwinkle from the brand Solace London. It is $613 USD, 95% polyester, 5% elastane. This is a dress that I would go to for more of a formal or even a black tie event. It goes straight down to the floor. What really drew me to this dress really was the color. I thought that the color was absolutely gorgeous and I really loved the simplicity of it. It has a straight across neckline. The arm straps are a little bit more interesting, I will say. They're not typical. They kind of like loop around 
your shoulder. The fabric on this is definitely on the thicker side and it kind of has a bit of like a compressive feel, which I definitely like and appreciate in a dress like this because I feel like it just kind of keeps everything looking really nice and smooth. I think if you are gonna go for a brighter or more of a fun color, I do think for a wedding, it's nice to pair that with a very simple silhouette. And I think that this dress really strikes that balance quite nicely. I don't really have any gripes with it either. I mean, it it, it fits, it, it does what it needs to do. I think the biggest downside to this dress is the price because this is a very expensive dress, but it is also a very simple dress. Not to say that only really elaborate dresses should be very expensive. I think this is gonna be a question that I'm gonna pass off to you guys. Would you say that this dress would be worth it's price tag. All right, I just had to turn on some lights because it was looking a little bit dark in here. But then again, if this is within your budget and you're looking for something like this, I don't think you would be disappointed. On the comfort scale, it is very comfortable. I would say this is like a solid eight on 10, but I do think that these arm straps could potentially be bothersome. I don't seem to be having that issue as of right now, but I don't know, I kind of foresee that maybe being an issue after wearing it for a couple hours and things start getting crazy. Like you gotta consider, the dancing aspect, you know? And can I put my hands up in the air and wave them like I just don't care? <laughs> I think I can actually. Overall, would I recommend it? I mean, I would say yes. If you are looking for something like this, if this is within your budget, I would recommend it. Would I say, oh my God, you need to go out and purchase this immediately? This is unbelievable and amazing. No. Next one though, and the last dress for today really does have the potential to be amazing. When I saw this online, I thought, she was a showstopper. It is the Waldorf dress and coffee bean from Retrofet or Retrofeet. I think it's Retrofet. It is $702 USD. This is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. And this is a dress that I would wear to a black tie wedding. You know, when I saw this dress online, I really thought that this was going to be a wow. It looked so wow online and in person, I gotta say, I'm not as wowed. Feels a little bit lackluster. I did get a medium, of course, like I did with every other dress, and I feel like it is a little bit big. And it's not even that I feel like I can really size down because I think if I were to size down to a small, it would be, uh, it would definitely be too tight. But there's just like parts of the dress that I feel like could be a little bit just more cinched, like on the bodice over here. I feel like I'm having to pull it up a little bit. I also feel like this part accentuates the wrong part of my body. It hits kind of right on the top of my hip instead of at my waist. And I don't really find that it's giving me a very like cinched, snatched look, which I would have preferred with a dress like this. Like if this was a little bit higher and a little bit more, I feel like I would feel a little bit differently, but because it's not snatching me in any way, it kind of just feels like the dress is wearing me and I'm not wearing the dress. There is a slit here, which goes pretty high, which I do really like. It is also very long and is dragging on the floor. Like I mentioned, I am 5'8", and if this is dragging on the floor for me, you are shorter, you will absolutely have to get this hem. Because even if I was wearing heels, this would absolutely drag on the floor. Overall, like as soon as I put this on, I was like, this does not feel like a super luxurious, like $800 dress. I think overall the fit could just be a lot better. This is a no for me. I actually would not recommend this. So now that we're at the end of the video, it's time for me to decide on the dress that I'm going to be keeping. And I actually know exactly the one that I'm going to be keeping that I'm going to be wearing to the wedding that I have in September. Before I tell you, I want you to guess in the comments what you think I'm going to choose. I'll give you a second. Okay, great. It is the Norma Kamali black dress. I feel like this dress just hits all the boxes for me. It's also super comfortable and I liked the price point on this one as well. There is one more though that I, I think I'm gonna be keeping. You guessed it, it's the pink jumpsuit. And I need to try this on a couple more times and see if I still feel the same way about the crotch region. <laughs> if I do, I will not keep it, I promise. But if my mind changes, I'm keeping her. If you have a favorite from this video, let me know in the comments. And like I said at the beginning, if you have any other stores or brands that you'd like to see me do a try on like this for, let me know what you'd like to see because this was a lot of fun. And if you also enjoyed, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you wanna see more from me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.